Hi there. Me doing a review of my Sony STRDE 695 um, receiver amplifier. It is a good amplifier, actually. It is one of their cinema line, and so it's bumped up power. And we got it back in probably 2004 to power the EVs that are in another video of mine. Um, and I now have it powering the two EVs and my Behringer speakers um, out of the Speaker B, um, Speaker B lines. So it is stereo. You can use it as stereo or you can use it for Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. And this is also the, um, the I think, second generation Dolby Digital 5.1, which means this is before 7.1 came out for home theater, and so back then they had surround back. So it's basically like a 6.1 almost. There's just an extra speaker in the back you can hook up. But I have a stereo with just speaker A and B. Um, it's a really good receiver. It puts out 100 watts um, to 8 ohms, which is strong, and that's perfect because that's what the EVs can take because they're older. That's their max, um, supposedly. And it's just, it's a, it's a simple piece of equipment, doesn't have a ton of features, settings, everything, um, and I, I mean, I don't know, I, I like it. You turn it on, just comes on and you can custom um, do what you want to come up. I have 100 watts, 4 channel, because I have 100 watts going into 4 channels of speakers. Um, and you can do that, and then speaker A, B, and both. Um, this is basically your do everything knob right here. This gold knob. It's a, it's originally black. Um, I got a gold one for it. Just a different knob from a crappy old speaker. Put it on there because I wanted it to stand out a little more. And so you can do balance with it right there. All the different settings. Um, comp the effect, and then menus right above it. You can go level equalizer. You can turn it on, and then bass and treble. Now, with this, the bass equalizer really doesn't do much at all, actually. Um, you can only do it up to 10 decibel more, which really isn't much, and it really didn't make much of a difference, and I wanted more bass, so I got my mixer for that originally, and then it turned out good because I DJ every once in a while, so the mixer was handy anyway, but that wasn't the thought at the time. Um, when I DJ, I do DJ with this amplifier. This amplifies my four speakers. And I've gotten it um, almost maxed out. It goes to 72, 74 actually. And I've gotten it to 70. And by then it is, it's just blazing. You can't hear anything, um, especially with the mixer putting in its two cents too, because that amplifies the bass and treble more too. Um, so it's a good system, and it obviously can handle it because it it was got easily upper 80s, probably 88, 89 degrees, um, direct sunlight, and running this at full power, powering 100 watts, 4 channels, um, band speakers. And so it can definitely handle a lot of abuse, especially for a home theater um, amplifier, which you never have to uh, handle that abuse. Um, you have all your basic settings, 2 channel, AFD, movie, music. I have it on music, and I have it on the hall setting. Just it sounds more realistic, um, like more live or whatever. Um, and like I said, all the settings, setup, custom, all that stuff. Um, you have all your different inputs: video one, video two, video three, DVD, tape, CD, tuner, and auxiliary. Um, I just keep it on CD and have that custom for a hundred watt four channel. That's what it says. Um, you can do the dimmer and have how bright you want your display, and then you can put what you want on your display, and I want that to show. Um, it is overall a good system, and I'll play some music with it real quick, just to show you that it works pretty good, and to show that it works pretty <laughs> So, I think I'll just play some random music, and I'm going to play Hotel California, buddy.
this is very low volume, and as you see, um, it does not have any um, tone or any indicators for the decibel peaks or whatever like the old style amps do. It's just, it always stays looking like that. Um, there's no levels or anything. It's going through my band speakers right now, those ones. Sorry, it's zoomed in. But it's going through them and it powers fine. And it's actually a super shallow component. As you can see right there, it's very shallow. I'll just turn it down. Um, very shallow compared to, like, that's my mini system, and the mini system amp is still bigger than it. Um, whereas normally they're twice as deep, um, these kind of amplifiers. So, I mean, that's a plus for it. Um, and it also has an unbalanced, um, unbalanced power output that you can hook in so you can use, so you can basically have it on a rack with a DVD player, um, tape deck, and have them all hooked into each other so you only use one plug. And I have my mixer over there hooked into the unbalanced output on this so when I turn the, the amplifier receiver on, it turns the mixer on with it. So that's really a handy thing. Um, but yeah, o overall it's a great, um, great little receiver and it, this is more just a demo of it showing you what what I'm powering all these huge speakers with because it's been wondered. Um, just because, I mean, it hasn't been on sale for years so obviously it's not a review. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Have a good day.